seems to be a lot of confusion about the uh, letters sent to the block vote and the GG auto blocker, with it being kind of misrepresented as a cease and desist letter, or that the problem is being blocked, which obviously it isn't. Um, I have my philosophical and ideological issues with these block bots, but that's not what the letters are about. Um, the problem with the block bots isn't necessarily that they block people. The problem with them is that they defame the people who've been added to the lists. Oh, well, the block bots changed. We'll get to that in a sec. But um, it's not just a list of people you want to block necessarily, say, on ideological reasons or whatever else. It's not like saying these people are members of the Republican Party and as a Democrat you may not want to encounter them so here's a list to block. It's more like having a gigantic billboard out somewhere which says everyone on this list is a, is a rapist and then there's hundreds and thousands of names on it and a bunch of the people on there aren't rapists. I mean odds are some of them would be but the vast majority of them aren't. But they're all being accused of being rapists. Generally as a group and individually by name. And that's that's basically the issue that's to hand. It's just when you're sending legal letters, you will tend to overemphasize and you'll put in everything else that's an issue. So if I'm making a claim that this is accusing me of being whatever, I th um, so say on the block bot, it said things like transphobe, homophobe, doesn't think white supremacy is a thing, you know, reputational insults. If I don't ask to be removed, then well, that's a problem because basically I'm not contesting the accusation if I'm not asking to be removed. So that's why that's there. Um, the letter is basically a first step you have to do in order to start or give yourself the option uh, of taking proceedings later on. So the point of sending the letter isn't necessarily to be threatening or to make a pseudo legal threat or, or whatever else. It's in order to start the process, it's in order to have the option to take further action. Because it shows that you're willing to try and find a solution, it notifies the person that you're considering it, it might provoke them into making necessary changes, thereby precluding any need for legal action. And so it's a first step in, in the process of taking someone to court, either for damages, or for defamation, or for whatever other reason. Um, so, yeah, that's what it's about. It's not about being blocked, it's not about any of that. It's purely about defamation, because on the block bot as was, there's all these accusations linked to your name, and your name is individually listed. And on the GG auto blocker, you're just blanket accused of being a harasser, um, and all the rest of it. Uh, but then you're also individually, as a, as a name, associated with that list, and that's why it's all, all done as it is. Now, I've talked to Ulon, who is the guy behind the block bar, which was associated with Atheism Plus. They were already in the process of making changes to their pages. I've had a good, productive conversation with him about it. Away from Twitter, uh, Twitter, Twitter. Away from Twitter, he's not such a bad guy. So I think we've had a useful conversation. They've made changes. They're going to be making further changes. So I see no reason to proceed. Uh, with regards to the block bot. With the auto blocker, Harper has unsurprisingly perhaps been a bit more stubborn and a bit more of a shitty person about everything. Um, so I'm keeping the option open there. But uh, if I decide to go for defamation, I've got 12 months. Um, now going for defamation, going for a libel lawsuit is incredibly expensive and it's complicated by international laws and some changes against uh, libel tourism that have been made in the States, which I actually think are a good idea because, frankly, UK libel laws are bonkers, um, and so people should have, have ways around them. But even so, two, now three sets of legal advice I've had all say that it's a pretty clear-cut case of defamation. Um, they're not willing to take it on pro bono because they don't think the international aspect lends itself to a really sort of easy way of going about things, but they're all confident that it's pretty cut and dry because the accusations are there. But like I said, defamation lawsuits are a lot more expensive. The cheaper way to go about it is to make a financial claim for damages, but in order to do that, 
I will need to prove that I have suffered financial damages, which isn't an easy thing to prove. But uh, there is some evidence already in that the GG Auto Blocker was going to be used as a blacklist, has been used as a blacklist, um, that it's cutting people off from business opportunities and so on. But I'll need to gather more information and more evidence if I choose to proceed on that. Meanwhile, various people have got in touch with me saying they're already trying to act as mediators with Harper on the issues with the auto blocker, um, that this isn't helping. Uh, also, she's been using this as an excuse to beg for her Patreon. So for the time being, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to continue to gather evidence just in case. Like I say, I've got a year from now to consider taking any action. So I'll continue to build my case. Hopefully things will change. Hopefully Harper will take some legal advice, which will lead to changes on the site and its wording anyway. Hopefully one of the mediators will get through to her. But uh, I just want to reiterate that the problem is not being blocked. The problem is defamation. And it's not just me, it's thousands of other people on the list. And maybe if we club together, it would be more affordable to take some sort of action. Um, anyway, that's where we are with that. I would just like to note that I do have ideological and political concerns and issues with the existence of the block bot. Now, I don't have any problem with blocking people. I think that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly all right. But these block lists, you're blocking people in advance. You're blocking people sight unseen. You're blocking people by association when it comes to the auto blocker. Um, so it's kind of preemptive, sight unseen. You don't really know who you're blocking. You don't really know anything about them. You don't know what they think, what they feel, unless you encounter them and you're not encountering them. You know, someone might have a bad day, get in an argument with one person who's particularly asshole -ish and end up on these lists when they don't deserve, really deserve to be. So I would encourage people not to use these things. My other concern is that they create echo chambers in which you only ever run into people who agree with you. Um, I hate to block, I've had to do it a lot more over the last eight months of Gamergate because of my mental health and various other issues, but I still hate to do it and it still stings every time I do it because I value discourse and argument and having my ideas challenged. Unfortunately, other people don't seem to feel that way. Um, and it's well proven in various psychological studies that if you're in an echo chamber, people tend to gravitate towards the more extreme point of view because they're trying to fit in, um, they're trying to show some kind of social dominance, um, just because they're only hearing affirmations the whole time. It's much healthier for debate and it's much healthier for society if we run into people that we don't agree with, we have to thrash out and defend our arguments. And so on that basis, I think things like the block butter are a terrible, terrible, terrible idea because it's only going to make people more extreme. Um, to use an analogy that people who are disagreeing with me on this issue might understand, it's the same problem that you have with people who only watch Fox News and studies show that they become less informed than people who don't watch Fox News. And there's a similar problem in this country with people who only read right-wing tabloids like the Daily Mail or whatever, in that they get this really distorted view and they end up on extremes. So that's kind of sets out my stall of my personal objections to these block bots, but the legal issue remains one of defamation with people who don't deserve it being accused of being serial harassers of women, bigots, etc, 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 when they're not. I'm not. I haven't harassed anybody, despite articles saying to the contrary. Disagreed? Yes. Harassed? No. So anyway, yeah, just to recap, that's where we are currently. No action will be going forward. I will be continuing to gather evidence in case I decide to go forwards. But I'm satisfied with the changes at the block bot, and I'm not considering any further action against them, and I want to give mediators and others a chance to talk to Harper. And I'd love to have a conversation with Harper on whatever terms she would like uh, in a similar way to I've had a useful conversation with Ulan. And um, I actually expect we could come to some kind of understanding at least, if not agreement. Anyway, peace out.